let p of x be the predicate 3x plus 1 is even for part a is p of 5 true or false. Well p of 5 is the statement 3 times 5 plus 1 is even. And 3 times 5 plus 1 is equal to 15 plus 1 or 16. 16 is even is true, which indicates p of 5 is true. Before we take a look at parts b and c, let's review mathematical quantifiers. First, the existential quantifier is the symbol shown here, which looks like a capital E facing the wrong direction, and is read there exists or there is. The universal quantifier is this symbol, which looks like an upside down capital A, and is read for all or every. And now let's consider b. What if anything can you conclude about there exists an x such that p of x is true, meaning there exists an x such that 3x plus 1 is even from the truth value of p of 5? Well, since p of 5 is true, we know there exists an x such that p of x is true, or such that 3x plus 1 is even, which indicates there exists an x such that p of x must be true. We select option 1. Notice we know this to be true even though we don't know the domain of discourse for x, meaning, meaning we don't know whether x is the set of all real numbers, the set of natural numbers, or a value from a specific set of numbers. For part c, what if anything can you conclude about for every x, p of x is true, meaning for every x, 3x plus 1 is even, from the truth value of p of 5? Well, just because we know from part b there exists an x such that p of x is true, we don't know for every x p of x is true, or for every x 3x plus 1 is even. Again, this is mainly due to the fact that we don't know the domain of discourse, meaning we don't know the values to consider for x. Which means for every x p of x, or for every x 3x plus 1 is even, could be true or could be false. And therefore we select the third option. In order to know whether for every x p of x must be true, again, we would have to know the domain of discourse. I hope you found this helpful.